You are alive, but you are dead. Wake up. Go back to what you believed at first and hold to it firmly. Jesus has taken a closer look at this church, Sardis, and we can learn from it too to make sure we're not doing these things wrong. He says to them, I know all the things you do, just like he knows the things that we do. They have a reputation for being alive. Everybody thinks that, you know, they're the real deal and they're close with the Lord, but he tells them they're dead. And he tells them to wake up and strengthen what little remains or else. He even tells them for, you know, the little bit that they do have that's going on, that's just about dead. They're just not living it, you know. They are not living up to the expectations of the Lord. They're not being obedient to him. And he tells them what they need to do. And sometimes we need to hear this too. What we need to hear isn't always what we like to hear, but it's good for us. And he's going to tell this to them, and we can learn. Go back to what you heard and believed at first. Hold to it firmly. Repent and turn to me again. And if you don't wake up, I will come to you suddenly, as unexpected as a thief. It's like some of those other churches in the book of Revelation. They too have forgotten their first love and they need to repent. And when, you, when there's a need to repent, yeah, that means they're doing something wrong. And you gotta come to the realization, this doesn't meet the Lord's standard. I need to turn in another direction because I'm going the wrong way. And if they don't turn from the ways that they're, you know, living, he's gonna bring judgment on them. That's what he's telling them here. And they won't even know it when it's gonna happen. It's gonna be unexpected.